Hey friends, how you doing? Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. I have a Sephora haul for you, and this is gonna be a try on one. So I picked up a few goodies, some hyped up products at Sephora, and I wanted to try them for you and just give you my first impressions on them. If this is your first time here and you love unboxing, you love reviews, a first impression, go ahead and click on the red button that says subscribe, and also come to my Instagram because over there, I always keep you posted on new makeup sales, makeup releases, everything like that. So let's just go ahead and get started. Alrighty friends, so let's begin and for primer, I am going to be trying um, really good sample size from this brand, they're called Sai, and I've seen that they arrived at Sephora, they have a base, they have a primer, they have lippies, they, they're clean as Sephora as well. This product is meant to be like a liquid illuminator slash primer slash mixing medium, so I don't really like to use these products all over my face so I thought I'll just do a little bit underneath my base to see this has a really earthy um, smell and it gives a beautiful sheen to my complexion I like that it's not too um, platinum and it's not too golden either it's just the neutral tone so that was nice now for base we're going to be trying this one by sephora this is their best skin ever so this foundation i've seen hype all up on youtube for a little bit now and i really wanted to try it by sephora's brand and this one is 26 5y which is for light and medium skin tones with yellow undertones so this foundation is a medium coverage natural finish foundation with a long wearing anti-pollution formula that hydrates skin for up to 12 hours and is infused with skincare benefits the coverage is medium the finish is natural and some of the highlighted ingredients are hyaluronic acid red algae extract that is going to hydrate brown algae extract which is going to provide anti-pollution protective shield this has a really nice and natural medium coverage um, the color is a little bit maybe a uh, a shade dark we have a shade dark but it's okay it's gonna be perfect for summer and I like the coverage of this foundation it doesn't feel heavy or cakey it's really lightweight but at the same time I feel like it covers what I needed to cover so so far it's so good I think it's beautiful. I think the coverage is really um, lightweight. I like it. Today I'm gonna use Tarte Shape Tape. I have been using this concealer because I have the new one on the way and I wanna compare, you know, my experience with this. So I've used it all week long. And I remember that it is a really nice concealer. For all over the face, I'm gonna use my Kosa setting powder. Okay, I quickly went ahead and did my brows off camera with the Huda Beauty Bomb Brows. I've talked about this product in a recent video, in my rankings video. I'll post it above you guys, that product. This guy is amazing to do the eyebrows, I don't know. I think like he has changed my brow game forever. I'm obsessed. So now, 
An exciting one that I wanted to really try was this one by Dior. This is their new backstage setting powder. This is meant to be a setting powder. All the shades in this range are neutral, so they're meant to be neutral and I'm warm tone. So I was scared that it may be too great on me and or I just didn't like it. So I decided to go with shade 7 because if it's neutral then it could be the best bronzer ever. So that was my t uh, my train of thought and that's why i picked up only this shade oh and this is so pretty I went to town look at that beautiful I just couldn't I just couldn't hold myself it is such a pretty shade look at this I look a little bit sunburned which is very cute I love this tone and I really love the packaging on the backstage I think that it is so slick and beautiful it closes like this and it's really nice and pretty so I, I really like it I think they have like eight or ten shades on these ones these are like really deep to set all over the face I think that you have a deep skin tone you're going to want to look into that line Next up, I have an LYS um, blush I want to try the shade this is in the shade passion it's a really bright fuchsia shade look at this uh, this is what we're going to be. Such a pretty shade. Okay, so I'm going to take a beauty blender here. And these are no joke, very pigmented. So I'm just going over with a little bit of powder. And this is a beautiful, beautiful and spring shade. For highlighter, we're going to be using this one by Danessa Myrex. I am uploading a video soon talking about all the products that I tried from her. But today I want to show you what it looks like. I've been playing with this lately and very very blinding palette look at that And today I'm going to use this palette as an eyeshadow because they are so pigmented that you could totally do that. So I am going to take the bronzer first. I'm going to take this first. And just put it on my crease.
Okay guys, do you see how pigmented that highlighter is? It's just like out of this world. So now I want to try two mascaras that have been hyped for a while. So one is by Lancome, which is their Idol Wash. I picked up the little guy and then one from Bite Beauty. So these two I wanted to try for a while. I think this was like points and this I bought. I can't remember but either way I'm gonna put one in each um, eye and I just want to see what they do, what they look like and stuff. So let's go ahead and do that. Wow, this mascara gives you crazy volume. I don't feel like I want to apply more. I'm good with that. I'm content. Let's go ahead and apply the Lancome one on the other eye. So these are them. It is crazy how much volume Divine Beauty gave me. I'm gonna go ahead and apply it on this lash so I don't look crazy because this one is amazing. I think that's pretty. Nothing new from Sephora. I'm gonna do my Hermes uh, lipstick. Alright friends, and this is it. Um, I needed to apply some liner. I don't know, I felt a little bit naked, but I think that everything looks very pretty. The base looks really, really nice. That Sephora foundation looks very natural and pretty, just like I like. It doesn't feel heavy. It's really lightweight on my skin. And it's just looking very, very nice. I'll pin a comment. I'll let you know how, you know, how she wore. So far on first impressions, I think that my complexion looks very, very pretty. Uh, let's go one by one. The product that I applied at the beginning, I liked it. I think this is a nice, I'm gonna, you know, try to use this sample size and try to see how I like it best. Um, this could be as an all over primer. Um, as I did, I can't really tell that it's peeking through the foundation, I don't think. I think that the foundation really took away all that shine. But for natural days, I really liked it. I could use this at top as well as a liquid highlighter, but it's gonna be something very, very natural. Today, I just wanted to use the palette, so that's why I didn't use it that way. I'm gonna continue to use it. I really liked it. I liked the color. It was very neutral. It just gave me a glow, a sheen, really nice and pretty. So, so far, impressed with this foundation. Um, as I said, I love my base. I think that it looks really pretty. It looks very um, natural, but at the same time, like, it's there. I can totally see my hyperpigmentation, some of my freckles and stuff, and I'm not bothered by that. This is my preferred kind of foundation. I love medium coverage foundations that let me, uh, you know, manage the coverage. This is good. I think I'm gonna like this. So depending how it wears, I'll let you know. Your powder, 
you already know, I already said it, love it, love the color, so blendable, did you just see how that just blended, it's so beautifully, so as a bronzer, I 100% recommend it if you're looking for a neutral bronze. The tone of this bronzer was a little bit like sunburn, so it was not orangey at all, it was more like reddish, if any, um, so I don't think it's 100% neutral and it is not cool at all, but I wanted a bronzer to be not warm not extremely warm and I think I'm content with this so I really like it very blendable very pretty um, to swatch you can totally see that it has a sheen to it so it's gonna give you that natural you know um, bronze appearance so um, I think this is gonna be a staple in my color blush right here. I loved it. I love these blushes. They're very long wearing. I love the color. I might have gone to town with it. That's why I had to like <laughs> tone it down a little bit with setting powder, but I love it. These I do last a ton on your complexion and because I said it, it's gonna last triple that time. So. I love it. Let's talk about the coats as powder since we're here and I applied it. I really like this powder. I just don't use it underneath my eyes because I don't feel like it sets them well. So for all over my face, I like it. I think that it gives you a really natural and it is just so, so, so lightweight. But at the same time, it does um you know just set your face but this is so 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 lightweight if you don't like powder you're going to love this if you have dry skin i think you're gonna love it if you have oily skin i don't think this is for you i have combination skin this doesn't control any oils whatsoever so a good five hours, that's all I get with this kind of powder, depending on the foundation too, right? Uh, but yeah, this just lets everything be, uh, so my oils would usually be out by five hours. Um, but yeah, I do like it. I love it for, um, you know, setting all over my face. Vanessa's palette, I love it. I, I don't show it too much because it really, like my lights go crazy. But this palette is beautiful, it's really, 3D has a magnetic closure on the hands. It's really like nice and substantial. It, is, it has a really nice weight to this um, and you get a ton of product and you get two years worth of highlighting in here. So this is, oh, this is stunning. This is a beautiful and I loved it as an eyeshadow. Look at that. It's just so, so blinding. So I do highly recommend you look into these palettes by her. Mascaras. Uh, this one I'll continue to use. I know a lot of people love it. This is your lengthening mascara. Maybe this needed a little bit of air to like be better, but this one just blew me out. Like as soon as I put on the first coat, I was like, wow. Like this is just so, so volumizing and like I love it. If this doesn't smudge, this is gonna be a winner for me. I keep you posted, um, you know, in um, another video where I do updates but this is nice. I love this mini size, you guys. I love them so much. I buy minis, you guys. This is my way to try out a mascara, so I love these minis. They do offer them with your purchase, so always be vigilant on their, you know, their offers. I think that's how I got this one by Bite Beauty. Look, this is how I buy my mascaras. This is my Marc Jacob, the Benefit, Pads, NARS. I like to try my mascaras in minis because I am so picky. And then buying a full size, you're just stuck with it forever until you use it up. So beautiful by Bite. So, so impressed. I'm so excited. All right, guys, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know in the comments, what do you think of these products? Anything that really calls out your name? Anything that comes to mind? Drop me a comment. Thanks so much, you guys, for your love and support. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.